I remember when I was uh, when I finished the high school, and I was invited to a cellar. It was a big cellar. I didn't know anything about this. That what is it and why I have to go there, and I just realized that uh, it was 8 p.m. in the evening, and I just realized that I'm in the middle of a theater. It was a fringe theater in Budapest in the 80s. I was very young, and it was a performance. It was a show called Wojtek. I didn't know anything about Wojtek, and. Uh, I have seen the most beautiful performance, the most beautiful show in my whole life. I was very close to the actors, I was very close to the actions, and made me really, gave me a very close feeling for, for the full drama. And uh, I have never felt a kind of happiness that I have felt there to see Wojtek. And, uh, it was a very important adventure in my life, and I remember then, I just forgot it for years and years. And when I finished the academy, I made my first film called Don't Disturb, which was, I have to tell you, it was really a bad film. And it, it was not so good, because it was not about the life. It was not about a story, a drama. It was, it was a, a genre film. And uh, I was thinking about my second film. And I remember also that I have, uh, it is a second encounter in my life to, to meeting with an actor called Lajos Kovács. Uh, he was shooting with my, with my, another colleague. And I just met him. And uh, we have been talking for two whole nights together, drinking a lot, you know, drinking and changing the ideas about life, about films, and about art. And somehow appeared the Wojtek. And I was sitting with this guy, Lajos, you will see in the film. And I just realized that he is Wojtek, and he is my Wojtek. And oh God, I would be very happy to, to shoot a film with him as Wojtek. I knew it that uh, Werner Herzog made a Wojtek, which was one of my favorite films. But I knew that uh, I want something very different, and uh, I want to make a, a film with the really extra people, extra in the meaning of the film, you know, the no one persons, the servants, you know, the, the last in the queues. I want to make films about this very, very simple people. And Lajos Kovács is an actor, but he's a very, very simple mind, very, very instinct person. And uh, it came like a lightning to me. And I just took the book. It was the first time when I read it, you know, after years and years, after this cellar theater. I just took the book and immediately, uh, in a month, I was ready with the script. And it was a big fortune for us uh, to shoot because it was very, very cheap film. It was, the financing was very, very simple. And uh, we shoot in uh, 30 days, basically for no money. And um, we just finished the film. It is black and white. And uh, me and the cinematographer Tibor Mate, that we have decided that we would like to go back to the roots of the old photography and uh, to the old uh, all the history of filmmaking. We have seen many times a, a, a mute film called uh, uh, The Carriage of Death uh, from a Swedish director, uh, uh, Söderberg. The shooting uh, was my most beautiful uh, experience in my life because we have been shooting inside a, in a gypsy quarter in Budapest. You know, and all the gypsies surrounded us. They were very, very gentle for us, and uh, we have been asking them. We, we asked them to come to visit the film, to play in the film. Uh, and it was another miracle that uh, my colleague, George Fahir, he is uh, unfortunately dead now, offered me a beautiful Marie called uh, Diana Vakaru from Romania. And uh, it was about a week before the shooting, because I have had no Marie for the role, and George Fahir uh, 
I, I was going to, to Jared and I asked him, please, Judy, help me because I, I have no an actress. And uh, he gave me a, a videotape with Diana Vakaru. And uh, she, was, she was brilliant. She had no any experience in film. And uh, it was another Russian actor. It is, a other, it is another Russian actor called uh, Sergei Parahovchikov, who I have met in a film festival in Bergamo. Uh, he's an actor, he's uh, one of the most uh, known, well-known uh, Russian actor playing mafioso in, uh, in Russian movies. And uh, when I have seen him in Bergamo, he had a film as a director and it was a big success. And I have seen in a curtain uh, behind the audience and it was big, big audience. The audience was clapping, clapping, clapping and he took the curtain uh, uh, cover his face, but I have seen his face, and uh, he was he was crying, and it was my first touch and my first uh, meeting with uh, Sergei, who is the captain in the film, and uh, I just decided that I'm going to him and to to tell him that please, please come to a Hungarian film and please, please, uh, this is the captain and you are the right captain and. Uh, the big man who has heart, who has emotions, and very violent in the same in the same time. And it was Porovchiko. Slowly, we gathered the film, we completed the film. We had the Hungarian Film Week, which was the first first uh, first experience with the audience. I was absolutely out the, the 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 auditorium, and it was a big success. I was very happy. I, I couldn't believe to my eyes. And after the, the career of the film, also I, I couldn't believe to my eyes that uh, it worked. It, it was many, many festivals. It won a lot of uh, prizes around the festival, but the prizes are not most important. Just let me tell you one story in the International Rotterdam Film Festival. It was a morning, a very early screening in the film festival in Rotterdam about 9 o'clock, 9 a.m. I was going in, basically it was a full house. And you know that uh, I'm just in the beginning, if, if, if I can uh, 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 guard my film, that I'm in the beginning of the screening, check the focus and uh, the audience, you know, wh what, is the, what is the atmosphere in the auditorium. And then I'm leaving. And basically I go out and drink some beers or cognac or something, because I'm very, very nervous. And uh, when I came back, for the last 10 minutes, uh, I was not able to go through the gate because it was not just completely full, but it was more than full, you know? And I wanted to, to go through the people uh, standing uh, and blocking uh, the gate. And it was a homeless who was uh, looking at me. It was the last 10 minutes and this homeless took me and grabbed me and, 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 and wanted me to, to go out from the door. And this homeless told me, simple, simple man, last in the queue, the homeless, told me that you have to go out because you have to see this film from the first moment, you know? And he took me out from the auditorium. And it was my, my, my main prize from the, from, the, from the audience, you know, that I was, uh, I was very moved to hear a homeless, you know, who, I basically dedicated this film to this kind of people. And for me to see a homeless uh, in the auditorium telling me that you have to go out, you have to see this film from the first moment, uh, it was very moving, you know, and, and I just felt that uh, it was, uh, it was, uh, I was happy. <laughs>